Well, this is truly an exciting day for us here in the Oklahoma City Park Department office where we have delivered this beautiful walnut table into its final place where it's going to provide years and years and years of just service to Oklahoma City. It's been a long process and it first started when this tree was just a log in the middle of a park in Oklahoma City. And it was this old dead log, it didn't look like much, but the Oklahoma City Park Department wanted to do something with it. And so it's taken so much time where we first hauled it to a mill and we had a mill operator slice it up into slabs and it just really, that first time, it exposed just how beautiful the inside of this tree was. I mean, hard to imagine what it looked like and what it looked like from the inside. And so then that started the process of drying the wood. And then we worked with some local providers where they donated a lot of their time and the material and they planed it out. You started the smoothing out of the process. And after that, it was sanded. And one of the last things that we, of course, had to do to really enhance the beauty of the wood is that final process of sealing it. And it was really nice to have Kurt's shutters out of Stillwater do a wonderful job of this, where you would actually take the epoxy and you would pour it onto the wood and you would have to spread it out. And there had to be this process of all these little air bubbles were coming up. And then you use the flame to knock those bubbles down. And then the final coat of epoxy to really give us this nice sheen. Now, it's sitting here all beautiful in this conference room, but it wasn't easy getting it up here. Couldn't take it through the freight elevator because it was too small. So Oklahoma City Park Department employed Oklahoma City Glass to come out here, and they had to remove a glass window off of the second floor. And they used a crane to carefully lift it up through the window and it went through, I don't know, three or four different offices just to finally get in this conference room where it had to be put onto a, a steel frame. So it's bits and pieces that it had to be put together. So when they got all the pieces in here, they attached it with screws, the base, onto the underside of it. And then they lifted it up and self-righted it and now it's just such a beautiful, uh, treasure that Oklahoma City will always have. This is really something that started so long ago because we wanted to showcase the value of trees in cities. So often our trees get cut down in your front yard in a city park. They get just get chipped up or just hauled off to the landfill. And this is really a showcase project that we want to promote the use of trees in urban areas to actually construct beautiful pieces of furniture or other items from. So let's say you have a particular tree that you love that for whatever the reason it has to be removed. One of the things that you can do is to go to Oklahoma Forestry's webpage and find a map of where all the local sawmills are scattered all across the state. Reach out to them, say if, ask them if they wouldn't be able to mill out that tree. Then work with your tree care company, your local arborist, to make sure that they know what is needed at the mill so they can remove that tree to provide that mill with the most wood that they can make whatever product you'd like to make out of it. And so we encourage you, if you have large trees that you're removing off of your property, city parks, think about the things that you can make out of it. Whether it's a beautiful table like this, whether it's a bench, whether it's anything, just, just, think, just know that trees can have an extended life after they've lived their whole lives in our city parks or your front yard. Well, I think from the perspective of, of being a, a parks and recreation professional since uh, 1976, basically a bicentennial professional in, in parks and recreation, it's, it's always been my uh, goals to make sure that we are on the cutting edge of recycling and reuse of anything that happens in a parks and rec profession. So being able to have this table in, in the Parks and Recreation Conference Room is, is very dynamic to us. It, it, it proves what can be done and, and not just throw things away. Or if we can be proactive and have uh, tree harvesters on contracts so that we can get them out and get them to explore and see what the realities and the availability is, 
that, that makes us even better stewards of the land and we know that that, that uh, old growth will be used for some productive measure rather than mulch. Well, once again, this has been a long project that it's just been a real pleasure to be involved in. And we really owe a great deal of gratitude for all those producers and all those people that volunteered their time, their services, their material to make this project what it is today. And I would just like to personally thank them for all that they've done. It's been a great partnership between the Oklahoma City Park Department, Oklahoma Forestry Services, and again, all those wonderful people that played such a big part to make this happen. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.